The world's biggest automaker cuts its annual production target. Toyota says it will make 300,000 fewer vehicles this year because of a global shortage of chips and supplies of auto parts from factories in Southeast Asia. The Japanese car maker now expects to build 900, 9 million vehicles for the year. Toyota says its Southeast Asia factories have been affected by the COVID-19 pandemic, but according to a press release, the chip shortage is the overbearing problem for the company. Toyota isn't the only company with severe problems as the chip shortage has led many car makers to temporarily shut down their assembly lines or ship vehicles without features that rely on semiconductors. Car makers say soaring demand for chips means the auto industry could struggle to source enough of them throughout next year and into 2023, even until 2024. The shortage has been worsened by the move towards electric vehicles which use a lot more chips than traditional cars. Raw materials too. Silicon is experiencing shortages and there are also problems sourcing lithium, plastics and steel. And it's eating into sales. Volkswagen CEO Haber D says the company has lost market share in China as a result of the problem. Taiwan is a production hub for semiconductors. And earlier I spoke to our reporter Wen Ji Li in Taipei and I asked her how Taiwan was expanding capacity to cope with the issue. So when we are talking about auto chip shortage, Taiwan's biggest chip maker, TSMC, has said in May that they would increase auto chip output by 60% this year. Um, overall, we are also seeing TSMC's expansion, but we have to note that this is not just for um, short-term supply imbalance, but for longer-term customer demand. We're seeing ex expansion in Taiwan, China, US, and with possible discussions in Japan and Germany. In China, the company just announced um, to spend uh, around 2.8 billion US dollars to expand capacity in Nanjing for 28 nanometer technology, which is currently in short supply to meet local demand. Uh, Wenji, tell us more about how China is developing its domestic chip manufacturing capacity. Yes, just last week, um, China's top chip maker, SMIC, SMIC, announced that they are going to build a chip plant in Shanghai with a total investment of nearly $9 billion. This is SMIC's biggest investment in years. Like TSMC's investment in China, SMIC's new plant will also focus on 28 nanometer or older generation technology. This kind of chip technology um, is suitable for, for chips such as um, image sensors, Wi-Fi chips, and uh, uh, such as microcontrollers for uh, photo. So since the new plan is a joint venture with the Shanghai government, we, uh, without a doubt, we can see that um, China's commitment to solve the, its domestic problems. When do Chinese car makers say they have used alternative supplies um, and reduced chip usage to sidestep uh, these shortages and grown sales at the expense of global rivals? What can you tell us about that? We do see some uh, Chinese chip makers allocate semiconductor chips to their best-selling models and reduce some chips in basic models so that um, they can ensure their car sales would not be affected that much. For example, um, in July, local Chinese uh, car makers such as uh, Saic Motor, Great Wall, and uh, Chang'an Auto deliver 20% more units um, year over year. But on the other hand, uh, Sino foreign joint venture car makers such as Saic Volkswagen uh, reported a 7.8% drop in sales from a year, year earlier in the first half. So such a difference is, um, was because many local car makers put effort into product mix upgrades, cost control, and lower rebates to dealers. DW reporter Wen Ji Li in Taipei. Wen Ji, thank you. Thank you.